Let's talk a little bit about the primary key. What exactly is a primary key? Well, basically, a primary key is a field or a set of fields in your table that help access kind of uniquely identify data. Now, to give you an example of how that's going to be used, you can use the primary key to relate different tables to different information, uh, different databases, different objects. And the reason people use it is because it's going to be a unique identification number. Because if you have like a phone list, you might have the name Ted Blankston multiple, multiple times. You might have the last name Johnson multiple times. You can't really have a unique last name or a unique first name. But you can have a unique identifying number in the table. So what you want to do is when you build a table, you want to identify a primary key. The primary key is just going to keep each and every entry unique. That's the simplest way to put it. So let me show you really quickly. I'm going to go up to view. Notice I'm in the data sheet tab. I'm going to change this to design view. And notice here I've got a little key next to the ID field name. The ID field name is an automatic number that Access is going to give every single entry that I input. So it may be number one, number two, number three. If I've got 500,000 different contact names I'm going to put into my database, it's just going to give me a unique number every single time, and it's going to identify it. Now, what I can do is I can deselect the primary key, primary key from this field by simply right-clicking and selecting the primary key. It'll either select or deselect it. That's the best way to determine that that's what you want is the primary key. I can do that with any field that I want, but try to keep it to something like an ID number that is automatically generated by Access.